Loot Hill is one of the brand new 5 star characters that came with Update 2.3, being the newest representative of the Hump Path. His kit is built around the ability to do a perfectly balanced amount of toughness damage to enemies, and while it feels weird to say it's as simple as that, it really just is. He's built to burn toughness and pretty much nothing else. This video will contain a fair few tips about how you should use Boot Hill, don't get me wrong, this isn't a guide. Much more than anything else, this video is about how it feels to use Boot Hill. So, cowboys. As I've already been over, Boot Hill is a completely fuck busted break DPS. But you poor bastards that did pull for him might not know exactly how he does this. Fortunately, like every good Ram Ranch patron, I have an intimate knowledge of how he works. But before we get to the way he makes the funny numbers appear on your screen, we need to talk about. Where time is always spring, happiness is king. Boot Hill's skill is an impel where he aggressively volks at his target, taunting them and causing them to take increased damage. And yes, this does count as a debuff. <laughs> While in the standoff state, Boot Hill is locked onto his chosen target, and his basic attack is enhanced into something that should have been removed from Overwatch back in 2017. This enhanced basic attack is also his main method of Thanos snapping enemy toughness. Winning the standoff, either by killing the target or breaking them, will get him a stack of pocket trick shot, which I will get onto in just a moment, don't you worry your pretty little head about it. The standoff is where Boot Hill's kit starts to come together as one single cohesive unit. It's what gives him access to his enhanced basic attack and level up mechanic, and is also what makes his gameplay even slightly dynamic, because yeah, being locked onto a single target is entirely a curse. It means that if something more important comes up, you can't shift your focus to it. And Boot Hill's damage is entirely single target. He will never be able to do any damage to anything that he isn't locked onto, even if that damage is fucking absurd. Of course, that damage doesn't actually come from the basic attack itself, but actually from two other things. The first one is his break effect, and I have to make a confession. That number in the thumbnail, it's clickbait. My actual break effect on Boot Hill is significantly higher. The second one is his talent, which, yeah, let, let's talk about it. Boot Hill's talent is ridiculous! The most noticeable thing about Pocket Trickshot is, well, well, it's the gun, isn't it? When Boot Hill has more than one stack of Pocket Trickshot and attacks a broken target with his enhanced basic attack, he does a bonus attack that fires around at, at three stacks, does more damage to his opponent than the IPC did to his family. Watch this. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? It also increases his weakness break efficiency by 50% per stack, because this joke will definitely be funny the third time I use it. Pocket Trickshot is a dopamine factory! The explosions, the, the lights, the numbers! The numbers! The numbers, Mason! Ahem! <laughs> You know, for such a complicated character, relatively, Boothel's ultimate is surprisingly quite simple, actually. It does a decent amount of single target damage, the same as most other single target ultimates like Sealers, and implants a physical weakness onto the target. This is the only way that Boot Hill himself can implant physical weaknesses, and he can only do it to one target per ultimate. Which, although still very strong, means that if you're facing an entire horde of enemies that aren't weak to physical, you're kind of shit out of luck. It also has a pretty significant action delay. He needs it. 
This Ultima is what gives Boot Hill his consistency. It allows him to pay up the same amount of damage as he always does against all high health targets. Because, like, having that high damage on his talent doesn't mean shit if he can never actually put it out because the enemy isn't weak to physical. Against targets that are natively weak to physical type damage, the main use case is whittling down toughness bars into range of Fan the Hammer so that Boot Hill is ultimately the one that breaks them, because he's probably going to have the highest break effect on your team, let's face it. Now that I'm finished talking about his general kit, I think it's time that I talk about his actual perceivable strength in endgame content. Yeah, Boot Hill kind of fucks everything. His insane damage volume means his toolset is well suited to content like Memory of Chaos, where killing shit quickly is key. And in a similar vein, when he's throwing hands with most bosses, he's also extremely strong, being able to delete health bars once their toughness is down. Don't use Boot Hill in Pure Fiction. The team have been seeing in most of this footage, Gallagher, Bronya, Rame, is, at the time of writing this video, actually his best team. Like, he already does an insane amount of damage on break, so he doesn't need Harming Trailblazer. What's left to do is just give him as many turns to do that break as possible. Which, yeah, this team's really fucking good at. He's also not bad as a second DPS, primarily being paired with Acheron, but this does leave a lot of room on the table in terms of Boot Hill himself, and requires you to either drop a sustain or have E to Acheron in order to maximise her major choice, so I'm hesitant to actually say it stands on par with regular hyper carry. I also feel like I need to mention that Boot Hill is absolutely disgusting in Simulator Universe. Since Pocket Trick Shot doesn't get lost after a battle ends, he can just get all three stacks of it up in the first battle and then just carry those stacks all the way to the final boss. It's fucking absurd. But like, if you have Rame in Simulator Universe, why, why is Boot Hill tagging along in the first place? You can just do this! <laughs> While I'm here in the Kafka boss fight, I think it's worth reiterating how he absolutely fucking trivializes a lot of boss fights, this one included. Like, just watch, he's gonna get a turn and the entire thing is just gonna be fucking over. Like, she, she never had a chance in the first place, it, it's fucked up. I've, I've been talking a lot, and I haven't actually answered the question in the title yet. Like, how does it actually feel to play Boot Hill? Well, it's it's just fun. The standoff is a genuinely pretty engaging risk reward mechanic, where you either just absolutely nuke the shit out of a very important target, or you let the key target run free and kill everyone. But I, I need something to fucking engage you assholes and make me give you a reason to fucking look at the end of this video, so like, here's, here's a tier list, here's where I put him on the fucking HSR tier list. We start off pretty fucking strong with this series, boot a very easy triple S tier. Fucking absurd character. Fuck you.